All right, so we're back to the only game where you can torture an entire species of people by forcing them to live in one million times gravity. It's species. More crippling gravity debt, damn it. Species got a new update. And now you have the ability to mess with gravity. Obviously, as this game is basically a scientific torture simulator, I want to find out what happens when we evolve a creature that is meant to live in one million times gravity. Obviously, we always need to start on the appropriate world seed for this. Every instance of torture begins with the screaming potato. All right, I've made the first sad bastard template. This will be the uh, very start for the humans that we will pressurize to dust with gravity. Ah, the very first hideous creature has been birthed. Isn't it beautiful? All right, now as more two-legged demon spawn come into this world, I have to start moving gravity around. So we'll start off with uh, 10 times gravity. I probably should have known that becoming hunched over would be the very first evolution of dealing with the punishing gravity. Well, that and, you know, slowly being set on fire due to friction. I like how because of the gigantic gravity, the legs get shorter and the feet get bigger. <laughs> Trading in leg day for arm day and doubling up on eyes. Yeah, seems legit. Now, something I kind of figured was that our species, most of them would end up dying just because 10 times gravity is pretty bad. I need to give them a little bit to learn to deal with the gravity and then we're going to move it up to a hundred. That moment when you're out for a walk with your mom and suddenly she bursts into a gigantic overflowing volcano of meat. This is my favorite part. See, right when I almost commit genocide, this is when the creatures start evolving so that they don't go extinct. Yeah, see, they were down to like four. Now we're slowly moving back up. I'll bet you bastards wanted to go extinct. Not today. We got a lot more gravity to go. Look at the size of those freaking thigh muscles. <laughs> Here's one of the creatures that has managed to survive now that we're at 200, I need to bump this up to 100 times gravity. All right, 100, here we go. See what happens is once I increase the gravity like this, it takes them, you know, like all their energy just to go one single step. And so everyone starts dying. Jesus, they're figuring out the new gravity quick. Maybe they're a bunch of masochists. Maybe they enjoy the pain. So um, these are some of the creatures that we have now with 100 times gravity. It's basically Grimace, but with two shrimps for legs. Uh, I don't know. It's like Krampus, but like after he got fired from attempting to scare children because of his addiction to alcohol or something. See this one, this guy has the right idea. Instead of trying to get stronger legs, he just does a split the whole time. So he kind of slithers on the ground. Not really sure what the hell happened here. Okay, I guess frog people make sense for a hundred times gravity. Demonic break dancers, mm -hmm. this species gave up on their legs and just put all their muscles inside of their giant potato like head. All right. Looks Looks like everyone figured it out pretty quick. Guess it's time to go to a thousand times gravity. One thousand. There we go. Get murdered, you bastards. A thousand times gravity is no joke. All right, they're down to about 80 now and they came back. You can see as the gravity gets heavier, they're starting to move toward the water. The biggest quandary about gravity is where you want to put your eyeballs. All right, they just went back over 200, which means that they figured out how to deal with the gravity pretty quick. 10,000 times gravity. Oh yeah, it's like setting a freaking nuke off. Okay, they are coming real close to going to completely extinct. There's only 14 left. Okay, it got really close, but I think they finally figured it out. Like they were down to like six. So, um, in the scheme of 10,000 times gravity, uh, some people have just lost their torsos. Their entire body is now just one giant testicle. Oh, this guy actually looks pretty cl- Oh, never mind. I think he just died and he's been replaced by this, this thing here that looks like it would leap out of my dreams and slit my throat. Never mind. I said that and then I saw this. I guess when you do a lot of walking on your hands, they start to get a little bit bigger. These things are like murder weapons. In our society, we have people shooting each other. These guys just high five one another. Not really sure what the hell happened here. Maybe he was like hanging upside down when the gravity changed and his head kind of pulled away from his body. So this guy was the other way. He just lost his neck entirely. All right, we're not gonna talk about this. Okay, the time has come. We're gonna go straight to 1 million times gravity. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Okay, if you depress pickles, we're ever gonna figure out a way to keep the bloodline going, like now's the time. Okay, they got down to 16, we're up to 31, back down to 13, back up to 25. My God, 
I think they may have figured it out how to live finally in one million times gravity. <laughs> so I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Welcome to the future of the human race. This is Podoma Teenus. Teen Sis. Big Teen Sis. Everything has to be an herbivore because they don't have the stamina to actually hunt one another down. Basically to survive a million times gravity, you have to hit the gym every day and walk on your knees a lot. I I'm not really sure how this happened, but by turning the planet into a million times gravity, I actually evolved the devil. Like I didn't make this. Okay, evolution did this. It's like a little Satanlet. Satan must have branched off. It's like Satan mixed with candy canes. It was a very festive Satan. Yeah, that's right here. This is, this is more or less what I was expecting. Okay, if we can get 1 million times gravity, the torture must continue. The bus has no brakes and we have to try 10 million times gravity. Son of a bitch. So everything immediately died because none of it could climb up the hills due to the gravity being 10 million times normal. But I have a plan. We're gonna make this work. Well, let me let me change that. We're gonna force this to work. Using the science lessons I learned on Google, apparently if there was a planet that had 10 million times gravity, it wouldn't really have any mountains because everything would be so compressed. Okay, I'm gonna make it flat as hell. Gotta go back to the devilscape. Oh my God, that looks freakish. Actually, what am I saying? It looks perfect. They have a wonderful planet toe that they can all live on and if they get tired of the 10 million times gravity they can all jump to their death all right the biome is ready the creatures that had somehow made it all the way to the end of 1 million times gravity are imported here we go 10 million times gravity <laughs> God, Vegeta would be having an aneurysm. Okay, we have immediate death as is to be expected. If these guys manage to get there, I'm gonna make it 100 million times gravity. Holy sh what the hell happened here? My 10 million times gravity, it, it turned everything into a giant meat storm. What is happening? Look at this. It's just titanic mounds of brain matter. I don't even know what this is. Uh, somehow my creatures have gone way past where my cap was supposed to be. I capped them at 600. Look at what's happened. This is what everything is now. They're all just hyper fast swimming potatoes. This is what is able to live in this type of atmosphere, I guess. I guess it kind of makes sense that the world is so punishing that everything kind of regresses back to a bacteria. Oh, I broke the game real good this time. Amongst the veal cutlets that are just lying everywhere, these are the species that had managed to survive so far and how they've mutated. I don't even know what this is. It looks almost like a tongue sticking out of someone's anus. Ah, this is probably one of my favorite creatures. It's the elongated mutated Spock hand, given the Vulcan neck pinch and everything. How are you all surviving this so easily? I'll murder you myself. There's just so many, I have to kill some of them. They're like, God damn you, Gray, we came this far. I just got a crash that says, my God, they've gained sentience. <laughs> okay, we're back in. We know that they can handle 10 million times gravity. I know I can get to 100 million and see what they turn into. I just got to do it before I ruthlessly crash the game. Okay, 100 million times gravity. Everything here is about to go Super Saiyan. Okay, 100 million is looking tough. Nope, never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Extinction. That's what I'm trying to cause, but these, these creatures are so diligent and they're living. They're actually having a really hard time coming back, considering everything else they've been through. I decided to come down here to see what sort of thing would be surviving so far in 100 million times gravity. The whole leg day thing has gone to new heights. They're not really legs, they're kind of like gigantic summer sausages, although the thing between his legs is really freaking me out. He's like, why you gotta look between my legs like that? This is, uh, this is the most traumatizing <laughs> experience I've ever had in a video game. Oh, I'm so glad that your species is dying again. It got down to two creatures, which means a new species. The most powerful one is about to be born. The Super Saiyan of all testicular freaks that we've seen. It's happened. We were stuck at like 
five and six creatures for the longest time. They almost went extinct multiple times, but now for the first time it's climbing. I think they finally evolved something that lets them deal with this, this gravity and the depression that they're constantly under. Their blood is probably concentrated dopamine. I'm kind of curious what sort of behavioral traits these things have. Holy sh Bruh. They just spurted again. Oh, that sounded really bad. They just birthed a lot of them again. They did it. They have completely figured out now how to flourish in this environment and the number of them is exponentially increasing. Okay, so what is it? What is the apex predator that has learned to live in 100 million times gravity? Having gone from a person to what looked like a convulsing piece of hairy testicular rice, we have now come upon an extremely malnourished pelvic thrusting version of the guy from Big Hero 6. That is, that is what I'm seeing here. This is the thing. The fact that it's on two legs is quite remarkable. No wonder there were so many. Their stamina is inexhaustible. I guess that would be true since, you know, even the slightest bit of fun time with your mate will probably end up punching someone through the crust of the planet. They're mostly harmless, probably because even playing the hand slap game results in immediate death. They're warm blooded, which I wouldn't have guessed. Gluttonous, brave, promiscuous, <laughs> completely ignores temperature. Okay, so it's the big hero six guy but also on speed and ecstasy. It's a fearless, oversexed robot thing. I had to get rid of any type of hill that could possibly occur in the game, but we made it so that creatures could indeed survive at 100 million times gravity. That as it is, this means that I have to slowly drown everyone to death. You fought valiantly. What the hell? They're expanding even more now. Jesus Christ, I can't kill these things. I've made a completely invulnerable species because I put them through the most rigorous life testing a creature could ever have. Look at it go. Jesus Christ, can I freeze you out? How about that? There. Die this way. Don't you dare come back from this. There's no food. There's nothing here. It's Arctic tundra. It's death incarnate. Are you, are you serious right now? They're surviving in this climate? Well, we did it. We made a creature that literally cannot be killed. I just wanted them to survive in gravity, but it, I guess they can survive in pretty much anything now. Eventually they're gonna gain sentience, come through my computer and probably kill me. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Species. Till the next step, stay foxy, much love.